Just days after Donald Trump's allies took over the Republican National How's that Committee, going? dozens of RNC officials have been pushed out of the organization. But at least they have a lot of money to spend on the campaigns, right? Two sources tell NBC News at least four senior staffers were terminated yesterday, oh, and as many as 60 officials could be laid off. Wow. According to Politico, the RNC's new chief operating officer sent a letter to employees explaining the new leadership team was, quote, in the process of evaluating the organization and staff to ensure the building is aligned with its vision. Its vision, of course, is pay Donald Trump's legal fees. Be in a cult. And be in a cult. As Politico notes, Not the in that order. shakeup underscores the swiftness in which Trump's team is moving to take over the Republican Party's operations after the former president all but clinched the GOP presidential nomination last week. Uh, I mean, heading into the 2024 election, Trump's campaign... They're facing a massive cash crunch, and yeah. some people are worried, well, they should be, that he's spending way too much of his political money on legal bill, bills. Yeah, now they can't pay his civil liabilities, can they? I No, right? No. There's even concern he may not be able to afford to hold his signature rallies. Take a look at how MSNBC's Von Hilliard explained the situation. Not only are they looking at a deficit in finances compared to Biden, but also there is the reality here at play that $80 billion have already gone towards legal related expenses over the last two years from Trump affiliated super PACs. So they're already starting into a deficit. Add on to the uh, add on to the reality here that the RNC is having to figure out how to best fund also Senate in down ballot races. There are serious question marks for the Trump uh, team and how they're going to be able to even compete. Here's also a reality reality at play. It takes manpower. Money can also help towards, this is my, my big shtick here, money can help towards actually putting folks on the ground in these states. In the areas where they are going to rely on to pull off victories are in rural parts of Georgia, rural parts of Wisconsin, rural parts of Michigan, rural parts of Arizona. And to get folks that normally don't vote, you got to go and tell them, we need you to come vote. And so Bullhead City, Arizona, if you don't have the money to finance some actual staff out in those areas, it makes it a lot more harder. And you can go and have a rally in those places, but those rallies cost $400,000. I mean, this is where you don't expect to see Donald Trump to be parading around the country because those events cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to put on. They're in a predicament now, whether they like to admit it or not. You know, uh, Willie, it's not like Nikki Haley and all of us and anybody uh, that has cared for a healthy Republican Party hasn't been warning about this for years, that if you elect Donald Trump, you elect a guy who's not fit to be president, first of all, but secondly, is going to put the Republican Party in a terrible, terrible position. He has looted his campaign funds to pay for legal bills, and now he's, he's firing people inside the RNC and putting family members in there to pay even more of his legal bills. And he's doing this as he's starting to go into a general election, as Jonathan O'Meara said, you know, it's 50-50. I personally don't think it's 50-50, but you look at the polls right now, it's about 50-50. And Republicans have selected a candidate who's, who's gutted his campaign cash. By the way, this has a huge impact on people running for the Senate, people running for the House, Republicans who need help from the RNC. That's just not going to happen now. And... Because he's gutting uh, people in there who were competent, uh, most likely, uh, they're now going to have a bunch of, of, of cult members going in, personality cult members going in there, and the incompetence will grow by the day. Yeah, what happened yesterday was a purge. It was a loyalty test. So if Lara Trump, who is Donald Trump's daughter-in-law, she's now the... She's the co-head, but she's really running the RNC at the behest of Donald Trump is seeing who's loyal to Donald Trump and who's not. And if you're not sufficiently loyal, you're gone. So I think that's sort of yeah. the definition of a cult. And it's showing up in donors, Joe. We talked a couple of weeks ago about that Financial Times story that Donald Trump has thousands and thousands and thousands fewer donors than he had at this point when he first ran. And why? Because they're saying, I'm not giving you all my money to pay your legal bills. I'd like to see Republicans win. I'd like to see maybe even you win, but also senators and, and House members be reelected. But I'm not here to pay your legal bills. And that has a real impact, like you say.